This program is sponsored by Capitec. Join millions of South Africans and pay the smart way with Capitec. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Insider SA, your guide to living better. Join us today as we open up to the vibrant Celeste and Thule, helping us laugh at a world turned upside down. Winning the hearts of a nation, we look back on Cheslin and Layla Colby's great rugby romance. Multimedia entrepreneur Olwetu Leshabani's favorite job title is Mom. YouTubers Hungani and Stephanie and Glovu prove that opposites are more entertaining. Mats Moponyane ventures deep into Scotland to ask why water matters so much. And Latin American dancing grows the vibrant heart of a KZN community. There's a vibrant new rhythm bringing communities across Durban together. Leading it is dance company director Fahim Garafri. Frustrated with how technology is isolating us from each other, he came up with this very social remedy. My all-time favorite is bachata. Bachata seems to wow the crowd. Everyone loves it. Ladies love to dance. We all know this. And we needed to find a common ground whereby gents could equally enjoy themselves. Bachata was the winning dance. Bachata becomes a lot more exciting to learn because of its simple steps. When teaching it, people tend to grasp onto it a lot more easier rather than another dance known as salsa. I think the vibrance comes from the energy of people when they're participating and doing it. At first, everyone is very, very tense. After 15 minutes, people tend to start enjoying themselves. They start to feel, I can really do this. You actually find people becoming a lot more confident when they're starting to dance. The rhythm certainly got dance instructor Trishka Sony excited, and it's proving infectious. I started dancing in 2021. I was working on a marketing project with Fahim where I had to learn how to dance, and the dance that was chosen for me to learn was bachata. And ever since then, I couldn't stop dancing. After we worked on the project, I didn't want to stop, and I eventually became an instructor in the band. What I enjoy most about Latin dancing is that it's so universal. You can literally go to any country in the world, not even be able to speak the language that person speaks, but you'll be able to partner up and enjoy a dance. These head-turning South American dancers quickly caught the imagination of teacher Sifiso Mdluli. As a dramatic art educator, I think one needs to equip himself or herself when it comes to the arts. So I usually go and watch theater productions. But uh, when I saw that there's an opportunity for me to learn Latin dance, I thought, why not go and accumulate the skills so that I can go and teach it back to my own kids where I work. My job is quite a stressful job, to be honest. So I come to unwind. This is more like my heaven, where I come to relax, rechannel, and rejuvenate myself so that I can go back and face whatever I face on daily basis. Not everyone can be Michael Jordan, but anyone can master Fahim's dance classes. Everything with bachata is on an eight count, which means that we start off with one, two, three, your four is a pause, you continue with five, six, seven, and your eight being a pause. So let's get to it. Remember, gents, left leg, ladies starting off on their right. Here we go, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, pause. Gents will now take off with their right leg and ladies will take off with their left leg. We continue, five, six, seven, pause. Now, let's put it all together very slowly and then we start increasing the tempo, okay? Here we go, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, pause, continue, five, six, seven, stop. We're gonna partner up. This is our position. As you can see, with my hands, that's going to be synchronized with my feet she can automatically move to where I would like her to go to. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, pause. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, pause. Make your lady smile. Fahim's made things even easier for the public, hosting Latin nights at this Durban venue. Events made so much simpler by his banking app. I bank with Capitec simply because it makes things a lot more easier. The app is great. I can track my payments and my spending. It's easy to use. It's simple. It's what helps us with our events. 
with tracking our payments and our expenditures. What I like about banking with Capitec is accessibility. The Live Better savings account is easy to manage and it's also convenient. You can access it through the Capitec app. Whatever amount that we spend, there's a certain portion of money that gets saved in our Live Better savings account. And on the 10th of every single month, this money becomes readily available for you. Which you can just transfer back to your savings account and be able to access it. Ah, oh, cool. I think I could live with that. <laughs> The guys were so confident that Trishka decided to put all their claims to the test there and then and remote on board. It was actually really easy. All I had to do was go into the app store, download the app, sign in, create my account, and then everything was done. It feels great to be part of the Capitec family now. The wider Latin dance community of Durban is thriving too. These moves are made for exotic spaces on warm evenings and venue host Marianne van der Steen offers both. This event is very unique as it brings together people of different cultures and we find that we have gained so many more people coming to our property because they want to learn to dance. I was very keen to do this when she brought it up because I'm terrible at dancing, naturally. Um, and it wasn't quite what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be as easy to follow. Like, just, you get into the groove, and then by the end of the night, you put in basic steps all of a sudden to be able to do uh, actual people. dance, yeah. yeah. I think it's really cool. Like, it's such a nice way to get to know people and, like, learn how to do something together, get out your comfort zone. I've never experienced this in Durban before. I have in Joburg, but like not Getting here. out there and doing something different. Yeah, it's so different it's and different. Like, awesome. it's awesome. Yeah, I yeah. Like it's super uh, easy, it's, actually. It's actually good. Yeah. I think the teacher is quite, it's yeah, quite good. Makes yeah, makes it quite easy and fun. So, yeah, it makes yeah. it fun. So even if you mess up, it's, you know, it's, it's not like a big thing. It's all yeah. in the fun of it. This is actually our first time, this is our first class and yeah, we had so much fun, it was really great. It was amazing, it's actually our two year anniversary so we just wanted to celebrate with something special. <laughs> this evening was amazing, I mean everyone had a lot of fun, everyone came through, they danced. More than that, it's celebrating Durban and being proudly South African. If you feel moved by the groove, then take a class. Get your own Latin dance community together or start another Live Better journey with a chance of winning a thousand rand courtesy of Capitec. To enter, reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms and tell us how Capitec helps you to live better using the hashtag LoveWithCapitec. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Up next, Celeste and Tuli and Olwetu Leshabani decide it's much more fun in the sun. Pay the smart way with Capitec. The spirited Celeste and Tuli is the life and soul of essay comedy. While she's been a popular telenovela star, she excels in stand-up comedy. It's made her the first South African female to record a DVD of her one-woman show and to headline gigs nationwide. My name is Celeste Ndudi. I'm a comedian and actress and a presenter. This is the first time doing the cable thing. The last time I did it, I was in France on skiing slopes. I couldn't ski, so I opted for this thing. Go! Okay. This whole bo -bo -bo <laughs> I get scared of it. Like, I don't think I'm... I'm not that brave, okay? I can't do the bungee jumping situation. This is as far as I can go, so... When it bumps a bit, pff, I'm, it, it sounds very scary. Celeste is a girl uh, from Mpangin. Rural, it's a rural girl, but I said to women now, thank God. <laughs> I'm from a family of eight. I'm the middle child, I'm number six. I grew up in a very, very loud family because I mean, there's eight kids. Definitely, it was a lot of bickering, a lot of fights, a lot of jokes, a lot of pranks, playing. So 
I, it, I think that environment opened my mind into viewing life in a much more objective way. As a comedian, you must be able to step out of yourself and your life and lend the vulnerability. At home, I was vulnerable because we would roast each other, you know, um, even they didn't care, even with the body thing. I don't, that's why even body shaming doesn't affect me because <laughs> I grew up with all sorts of things and eventually, you, it, I think it gives you thick skin and also it builds the character. So that's how I think that's how I got to comedy because I didn't make a conscious decision to say, oh, when I grow up, I want to be a comedian. It's something that came to me as I grow older. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just arrived right here at Harte Sport Cable Car where we are above the sea level at 1,685. Mm. Well, in this case, above the dam level. And of course, the cable to come up here, it's 1.2 kilometers and to run the trail, which I don't think I'll do, it's 1.2 kilometers too. So I'm gonna enjoy the views and the nice things because of course, I'm in fabulous in colors, it's summer. So if you can't afford to go to Cape Town and fly and go to Table Table Mountain, you can come here in Northwest, it's the same thing. Whew, now at least there's a breeze. Okay, the crocodile, the genealogy symbol of the Royal Bafu King. Mm -hmm. Rustenbeck, I see you, Royal Bafu King, the crocodile in Guaya. Oh, this is cool. After her latest series of shows, Celeste and Tuli and the Big Dudes, she's at her peak, but in need of a breather. Me time, it is important. In other words, I think I, I, I steal my me time every morning because I'm always performing for people and I'm always with people's energies and sharing my energy with people as well. So if I pour as much energy, I need that moment of just being silent by myself. So I love me time a lot. What have I realized in my life that is noise? And what have I realized that is important? What's important is to hold on to your faith and most of the time the noise comes from fear. So I've realized that we do entertain fear most of the time, which then holds us back because it comes with a whole lot of negativity. But if you have faith, you will realize faith has less noise. It's got a certainty, you are sure of what you're doing or you trust your gut. That's why it's important. So whenever you want to know what steps you want to take going forward, you must have a lot of faith because nothing is covered stone, nothing is guaranteed that it's going to happen. Yes! And just like that, in 1.2 kilometers, <laughs> huge. I thought I was not going to be able to do it. Oh, I'm so fit. In comedy, fortunes can fall as quick as they rise. But Miss Antuli has learned to roll with it. When your life is upside down, come and check an upside down house. And I've been seeing people taking pictures here and social media and all of that. I thought it was outside the province. Again, Northwest. Mm. One thing about this house is going to make your mind go upside down. It's like, okay, what's the reason? What's the fuss? What was the point? And I must tell you, I'm sure someone who did this is someone who get. You know those smart people? They are too smart, they get bored. This is what happened. The whole kitchen. This is insane. This makes your mind go upside down and think about other things you never thought of before. Definitely in my career, I've had all the ups and the downs and the upside downs at the same time. I mean, those challenges, they grow you. That's why it's nice. Probably that's why the concept of this thing is about there, to understand when things are upside down, they are being turned for a reason. Well, in life, our career, sometimes when things are hard and upside down, they mean there's a progress, there's a change. Challenge means change. When I face the challenges, I literally just face them because every moment is a passing moment and every moment is a teachable moment. And in that way, you never lose in life. Even when you lose, you're winning because you're learning. You don't lose, you learn. Talk about the Upside Down House. Everything was fascinating, great, worth to come and see, definitely. But damn, I will fix the aircon. It's hot in there, it's hot. What is next for Celeste is global dominance. I'll be doing a lot of global shows because I want to go abroad, perform. But what is next for me? Love, more success, and more global stuff. So, Tungisan, Nyashat, Celeste, thanks for helping us laugh while we try and figure out which side of life is up. 
And just ahead, someone seems to have the answers. She's gone from one hit podcast, The Sit Down with Olwetu, to another titled The Art of Superwoman. And central to this media entrepreneur keeping her career so vibrant has been putting her family at the center of it. Hello, Insider SFM. I'm Olwe Tulishabane, and today I am at 44 Stanley, and I want to do something special for me and the boys. So I'm going to pop in and try see what kind of sentimental gifts that I can get them. Maybe I'll find something for myself too. Join me. Hello, JFF. I'm Toby. Nice to meet you. I'm Olwe. Good to meet you. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for today? I thought of really switching things up and trying to create a legacy of sort in my garden, in my home. So I am looking for something that my kids and I, I've got three boys, to plant and something that they can each take care of. Yeah. Well, I have something for you. So these are the roses. Very easy to take care of. They have a very good growth rate. Okay. And plus, it looks really pretty. It looks, mm. it looks very beautiful. It smells great too. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course something for me. I'm looking for something that is more maybe a tree. This way we have the Ficus Mon Clima. So the Ficus Mon Clima is actually quite perfect because it can grow to great heights as much as with other plants. But the only difference with this one is when treated right, it can grow quickly, like very fast. So where would you say I should ideally plant it in my garden? Let's say I'm somebody that waters their garden twice a week. It's probably good to leave it in a medium light because some plants thrive in the sun and then some plants just cannot deal with the sun. Perfect, I've got the perfect spot. Yes. <laughs> with plants, as with different characters, raising three sons has taught this mum what conditions each needs to flourish in their own way. So we're at home right now and I'm with my three sons, Mikhaili, Morgan and Malik. And we're about to get to planting our roses. Each of them selected their favorite color. So let's get to it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Let's go. It's tough balancing mom life and work life and trying to do things with the kids. But where I can, I do try and make sure that it's not just about the amount of time or the quantity of time, but the, the quality of the time that we spend together. Creating memories, creating sentimental moments, being able to do things that they can carry on, you know, whether I'm there or not. Olwetu's dad had a job which meant moving his family around a lot. So she's become pretty good at putting down new roots. Each of you have your own hole. You're going to be planting your rose in. So your rose is your rose, and I'd love to see whose rose gets bigger faster. Okay, you squeeze one side, and you're going to squeeze the other side. And you're going to pull your rose out of its pot. So, I mean, my boys are hilarious. They're funny, they're jokesters. Whether we're having good moments or bad moments or happy or sad, they're always finding a joke out of it. And I really appreciate them for that and for bringing light moments, you know, making hard moments, light moments. But also, they're very mature. They really just, they raise me as I raise them. Malik's mum has become a pro at planting the seeds of ideas in his head then letting him grow them into his own creative thoughts. I'm going to water my plant every day. How big do you think yours is going to grow? This big. Like this big. You guys know that we love going out into the garden, we love being out in nature, we love going for walks, and we need to do that a lot more, right? And I'm hoping that by planting these roses today, you guys are going to be motivated to try and plant more things and to see them grow. At her grandmother's house in Newton Hague, Olwetu used to join her gogo picking vegetables early each morning. So some of my fondest memories of gardening are my mum and my grandmother. My grandmother particularly because she was a woman who everything we ate, everything on the table except for the meat, came from her garden. My mom was no different. Green fingers, always nurturing the garden, always being in the garden, a space of healing and meditation. During the toughest times, I remember my mom going into the garden and just finding that as a space to think and just seek solace. I love plants. I love their ability to be everywhere and anywhere, whether they're inside your house or they're out in the garden. Plants are just such a joy to keep and to have, where I just 
can have it handy and on, like within the space to use for cooking or to even use it in a cocktail. I have made a little bit of a mocktail using a few ingredients that I have in my house. So it's some grapefruit, some pomegranate, some soda water, a little bit of pineapple syrup, some ice, and my mint that's sitting on my kitchen counter. Where this busy entrepreneur has relied on her community to help parent her children, it's her sons who've now become her community. There's always something I'm up to. <laughs> there's always something I'm working on. There's always to Lishabani, but I think there's a whole lot to expect from my brand and the evolution of my brand. Um, going forward, Artist Superwoman is evolving and growing and becoming. And I always say, as I'm raising these kids, I'm raising myself. I think I'm in a phase where I've run out of baby. And <laughs> so when you've run out of baby, there's nothing left to do but to actually start seeing how I can start raising and growing myself too. The lessons she's learned firsthand with family are those which Olweto Lesabani shares with South Africa, and in this lie the seeds of her success. Just ahead, to YouTubers Hungani and Stephanie and Tlovu, love is being an odd couple. Pay the smart way with Capitech. Keeping the local social media scene vibrant, dancer, actor and presenter Hungani and Ndlovu joined forces with his wife and actress Stephanie to launch their vlog, The Ndlovu's Uncut. Taking five from that hectic content-creating lifestyle, they booked an escape to Hout Bay. So how we met in a nutshell, I'm going to keep it very short, right, is that Hungani stepped into my office. I was a casting director for Big Soap. He was lost without a cause. He was not working. I gave him his career. I gave him a shot at stardom. And he was so grateful he decided to propose. So I'm pretty sure you can tell already that this is a very fabricated story. No, it's so really the not. truth is, it's I really walked nice. into the audition room and she was a casting director. I happened to blow her mind mind away through my performance so much that she actually wanted to hook me up with her cousin and then she called me into her <laughs> office after I got the job she sussed me out and then figured that oh my gosh this guy's actually up my alley so that's how we met the audience can decide where the truth lies for once the couple were getting away not so much as influencers but as guests so we're here because we needed some time to just get away from the hustle and bustle of Joburg. We're here to have just some time to ourselves, some relaxation and explore Hout Bay and see what it has to offer. First impressions, look, if if we're not cutting to all the cutaways right <laughs> now for people to see what's actually happening, I don't know what we're doing. The hotel is so special, as you can see, it's actually far away from the city and it's surrounded by the beautiful mountain of Old Bay when, and we're actually behind the Table Mountain, which is quite unique. The rooms and the facilities, uh, we have 20 rooms on the property and the unique thing about our rooms is that they're divided into three categories. The first one, which is the family deluxe, as well we have six deluxe rooms, which they do have the outdoor hot tub. Then we have the 13, which are the classic room without the outdoor hot tub. But however, even though they don't have the outdoor hot tub, they have a lovely, beautiful swimming pool outside, which they can enjoy during the day. Before she was cast in a major local soapy, Stephanie saw the television industry from behind the camera. So I started out actually not really in the creative space or industry. I started out as a costume assistant and an extra on a popular soap. And then I think my career kind of just catapulted from there. I think more just before COVID really getting into the content creation space and the YouTube creation space. Acting is such a frowned upon career because it's like considered a hobby. I kind of stumbled upon it through dancing, but it was never the plan. It only became the plan once I discovered that I actually really enjoy this. The Anglobos dubbed their vlog as being in part about faith and family, and that requires honesty. Mary 
married life is definitely a journey. Both of us had expectations of what we thought it was going to be like and then it wasn't that way and we kind of had to find the middle and make it our own. We both come from homes where both our parents are still married, they've been together forever, you know, so we've always had an expectation of what marriage would look like and then when we did start facing and difficulties we're like, oh, why? What's going it's on? Too soon. It's too soon. It's supposed be to be happening. the honeymoon phase, you know, and so for us, we've really had to be aware that this is what our journey looks like. But I think we've navigated it quite well for yeah. ourselves. I mean, we're, we're near five years and yeah. we're going strong. If marriage is a journey, <laughs> starting a family is a, another journey all on its own. Yeah. We have a little beautiful girl, Rulani. Rulani means in Tsonga, be at peace. And it's just wherever she is, she has such a peaceful energy and aura and spirit yeah. about her. And so I think with the birth of Rulani, it felt like, you know, okay, this could be like a fresh, fresh start, chapter, yeah. a fresh start. And that's what it's been. Kungani has studied and worked from Los Angeles to New York. But nothing beats discovering their home country. I think as a couple, we often try to go on as many spontaneous like outings and dates as possible, but surely not enough as we would like to go or enough as to what our schedule allows for us to go. But when we do go out, we try to make the most of it. My first impression of the world of birds is that it's not just a world of birds. It's a world of many animals mm. and many reptiles and many wonderful, beautiful creatures. I think for me, like spaces like this just really make me feel like a kid. You get to see animals that you really don't see on a daily basis and also creatures that are like so colorful and birds that you've never seen anywhere else. I mean, we see pigeons all the time. Generally speaking, I think I'm more of an animal person, lover, fan than Hungani is. I think that Hungani loves animals from afar. <laughs> I am the most adventurous. I am... Don't make it sound like I'm not at all. Can we show the monkey footage? Can we <laughs> cut? Cue, cue, cue the monkey footage. <laughs> this is a gunny. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That was pretty insane. Being with these monkeys is a lot. Them being all over me yeah. is a lot. Uh, and they're very mischievous yeah. like, and very inquisitive. They're super intelligent as well. So, you know, being there, I kept like looking for my bag, making sure that, you know, it's like closed. Cause they'll just like open your bag and, you know, look for certain things. But I think also a really good experience to have. It can be as content creators or working in television drama. What holds true for on-screen chemistry is that opposites always attract. I love cooking. I always say like cooking's my love language. So I grew up with very homey, hearty meals. My mom was always in the kitchen making some other kind of stew or curry or like, you know, very rich foods. Lots of Lots flavor. Lots of flavor. Sometimes a lot of spice. So I'm always down to try anything. When it comes to food, I'm not gonna lie, like, so I was raised with like very simple ways of eating. So I'm not on the adventurous side. And My palate is very basic. Chef Delaine Lewis was happy to help Mrs. Ndlovu's attempts to expand her husband's taste in food. So Stephanie and Gurungani is uh, expecting a three-course meal tonight. So for starters, I've got for them our signature mushroom dish. And then for the guys, Gurungani, I've got uh, the beef tartar. And then for main course, I've got prepared our signature seafood dish, which is our lime fish. And then for Hungani, I've got prepared the beef steak. And then for desserts, I've just got them a malfa pudding and a chocolate fondant. More Bittersweet is the couple's short film, Love Locked, about a relationship unraveling under the strains of the recent pandemic. Love Locked is a short film that we co-produced during COVID and yeah. we co-produced it with another producer by the name of Carmen and Delia as well. Delia did the writing of the uh, poem that's narrated through the short film. It was shot at our home, Carmen was there and we had a DOP and it was just a very small team. The overall project was basically female directors yeah. were pulled together to create different short 
short films that became one big project. And Love Locked was one of those projects yeah. and this premiered in Canada, which was just amazing. After Love Locked, we found ourselves associate producing a theater production. Yeah. So it's just like, it's the beginning of, of our production company. Now free from lockdowns, this filmmaking couple are seizing every moment to live and learn together. What do I admire most about my lovely wife? Number one would be how she's told me how to be generous. We both know that <laughs> when we met, I was like, I wasn't greedy, but <laughs> I had like a very tight fist on my belongings. It was very difficult to share, but um, I've grown to, to learn and love like being generous. Having been through what relationships go through, we've taught each other how to love one another, but I think for myself, I've learned how to love myself better yeah. through our relationship, so thanks babe. I really love the fact that Hungani has taught me to go after my dreams and the things I want to accomplish. So I really love that he's such a go-getter and he is honestly, he's really someone who goes after what he wants and that kind of always rubs off on me. So that's, that's one of the many. Watching the seals play was a little message from nature to get busy living. Being freelancers, we get so caught up in like chasing the next piece of work, chasing yeah. the next gig to some point where you're like, oh my gosh, I actually haven't gotten some time to rest. So I think for us, this is something that we needed. Even just being on the flight coming down to Cape Town, we like took a little bit of a nap, woke up again, like, oh my gosh, we're actually going on a little bit of a break. This time of the year, you know, as the year is drawing to a close as well, you really start feeling that year in fatigue, yeah. like Ngani was saying, and we've really been go, 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 go. So just to take a moment has also been really very rejuvenating. In making sense of life, a weekend of stopping to smell the roses might have taught the Indlovus as much as a year of looking within. Next up, we revisit the dream wedding of popular Springbok rugby couple Cheslin and Layla Colby. Witnessing their son play the Springboks into the Rugby World Cup semi-finals, Cheslin Colby's parents, Andrew and Millicent, saw the moment through the lens of his entire life. Sometimes Cheslin was very naughty when I was looking for him. He's in the street playing touches. But he knew when to come home. He was a very disciplined boy. I think rugby started when I was playing rugby. I always took him to the rugby field. So he basically grew up on a Saturday morning on a rugby field. And from there, he just keep on going. At the end of the day, you're working towards your goals and that you want to achieve what you want to do. So what the most important thing for us, a sports person, you have to put in the hard work and just work hard, yeah. We first met the Colbys when Cheslin was a muscle car loving Stormers star. Then, chartered accounting student Leila Capito took in a rugby game and rocked his world. Well, we met at Newland Stadium and um, he tracked me down on social media. Five months later, we started dating. Yeah, for me it was life at first sight and I saw Leila walking by the stadium and I just thought I'd take this opportunity by approaching her and just asking for her personal details. And yeah, five months later, everything worked out perfectly and we're a happy couple. Three years later, Layla was having a wedding dress fitting and once again, Cheslin's Western Province rugby home ground was the stage for all the drama. It was a normal um, Friday after work. It was the last game of the season and Rachel Khaleesi um, tagged me along to the box of the game and my whole family had arranged to be in the stadium for Cheslin's last game to support him. And then after the game, we walked into the field and then one of the girls just pushed me into the middle and the cheerleaders were all dancing around me and stuff and I was like, what's going on? And all the players were standing there and I just saw Cheslin walk towards me and he gets onto one knee. I looked behind him because he's like, on his knee and I look up and I just saw my mom and like all my family with like white t-shirts saying say yes and I was like oh my word it's like it's happening so um yeah I obviously couldn't say no to a full crowd of like a Newland Stadium and and they won to top it off. I think I was very specific for what I wanted I wanted a local designer to design my dress for me and um I wanted something very elegant 
sophisticated but a bit edgy. I came across Robin Roberts' page on Instagram and I saw one of her dresses and I just knew that she could make me what I wanted. We used a nude illusion tool to cover her arms and chest area and then the beaded lace is appliqued down her hip line to enhance her curvaceous body. She really, really wanted a low back, which was tricky for us, but we used a gorgeous back strap to work with the design that she wanted. I feel so excited for my big day now, and I think I'm definitely going to take Cheslin's breath away. Loyal to the province which was first to support him, he and his fiancée chose the Winelands for their wedding. And decorator Lazelle Fourri got to see that the soon-to-be Mrs. Colby is as good with creative concepts as she is with numbers. What Leila and Cheslin wanted to do is they wanted to showcase their love as a couple and with small elements that they've used, starting with the keychains as a name card for each guest. They were going with an all white look for this wedding with just a little bit of a touch of gold and navy to give it that beautiful, elegant look. And for the flowers, Layla's favorite flower is the tulip, white tulip, and then the white orchids. And then we used a combination of different white flowers. We used pom-poms and we used snapdragons. And all of these flowers individually, perfectly placed in individual vases, all different shapes and sizes. And that is what we've done with the tables today. At this stage, Mr. Colby was playing in the red of Toulon, but the cake by Karen Watson was a tribute to his Stormer's roots. Jason's favourite colour was blue, so it was the most easiest choice for them, and the touch of gold just added that elegance that Layla was looking for. The silk orchids finished off the cake to perfection, and with its sheer size, the cake is grand and beautiful. The personalised topper was a special one. We tried to get her exact replica of her dress, even down to the moles on Cheslin's face and her face. We went for the Stormers Western Province shorts, as that was a huge significance in their life. Chessie's groomsmen included teammates from his Sevens, Stormers and Springboks career, all there to witness the biggest moment of his life. We never thought that things would happen so quick in, in our lives, but I think everything happens for a reason. And since day one, I knew that she's the one that I want to spend my whole life with. And I just want to thank our, our Almighty because if it wasn't for him, nothing would have been possible. And just for the person that she's been with in these four years has been incredible because I've learned a lot through her and I'm sure she learned a lot from me as well. So I think that helped us to where we are right now. And I'm looking forward to today and I'm sure she's very excited for, for the day. And I'm just thankful to have my groomsmen with me to make life much easier for me and my parents, her parents, everybody. So I think all the support structures and that we, we really appreciate. And we just have to know that we thankful for what they do for us. With such an international guest list, the big day had to synchronize rugby seasons happening across the globe. As for the bride, she only had thoughts for her groom. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing Cheslin as I walk down the aisle. Um, I hope there's a few tears in his eyes. If not, I'm going to walk a bit slower and wait until the tears do come. So I'm just excited for my dad to give me away to Cheslin and I think that's the most precious moment of today. Layla's choice certainly got the thumbs up from his in-laws Wayne Canamere and Renee Cupido. I'm glad to see my daughter happy. Cheslin is absolutely the most humblest, most loving. I could not ask for anything better for my daughter. Um, they suit one another very well. They're absolutely amazing together as a couple. And we can only see them reach higher than what they have now. My wish for them is health and wealth and success and happiness. You can't describe it. It's, it's unbelievable. It's such a young age and our last born to walk down, down that aisle was just amazing. My wish for him is that they must be happy, they must believe in each other and they must believe in God. With Leila by his side, Cheslin and his teammates at Toulouse have won both the European Cup and the top 14. 
although the players from his days with the Stormers remain his first rugby family. I would just like to say um, I'm really proud of them. Um, I mean, we really look up to them. They've been through a lot, especially with Cheslin traveling up and down. And yeah, I just wish them all the success. And everyone here loves them a lot. And good luck to them in their future. There are still massive rugby stakes to play for, but the star winger has Layla in his corner, and her sister Kia Cupido has every faith in them. Layla, Cheslin, I love you so much. I think you guys are the most perfect couple. You guys are goals, you're my inspiration. I hope I have something that you guys have one day. Being part of their wedding day is just phenomenal and um, a great couple, amazing couple, amazing people. And I think everything that uh, was said about, especially Cheson today, about his humility and uh, respect and discipline is, is definitely that. And i um, really honoured and privileged to share this amazing day with Cheson and Lila and wish them the best of luck for their marriage. And only tears of joy. The moment she walked out of the door, I literally started shivering and the moment she got closer to me, I just couldn't hold my tears back and I just burst out into tears and just want to say that she really looked amazing and beautiful. I think the highlight of my day was walking down and seeing Chesun in tears and then sharing the special day with our daughter and having her part as our first dance and then obviously seeing how beautiful our wedding turned out to be. I think it was absolutely amazing. As for what's happened since then, it seems to prove that being bold does bring mighty forces to your aid. Coming up, Maps Maponyane ventures far, far from home to highlight why water matters. I'm Maps Maponyane. I've journeyed to the edge of the world to highlight the importance of clean water for all. Now, I'm telling a new story. This is a story about a man I've never met who's very different to me. His homeland is different. His weather, different. His culture, different. His food, different. And as for his accent... While straight over the way there, I left the body down to the car. You can't miss him. But despite the differences, there is one thing that's the same. Water matters to both of us. His name is Brian Kinsman. Water matters to him because for the last 30 years, he's used it to make magic. But not just any water, this water. The Robidoux Spring was the exact reason why William Grant, back in 1886, built the Glenfiddich facility here. It's so pure and slightly soft water and perfect for making whiskey. Every single drop of water that goes into every single bottle we make comes from the one spring. Without the Robidoux Spring, there would be no Glenfiddich. So climate change is a real worry. Well, the truth is we all need water, so we all need to protect it. Absolutely. Cheers. Water matters. It matters to me, it matters to Brian, and it should matter to you. Helping to provide water for under-resourced communities, the recent Glenfiddich Grande Yozakura auction was an opportunity to see the brand's famed name doing important work in the world. What excites me the most about Glenfiddich is about what we do, not just what we say. And this is exactly what this night is all about in our journey with the Challengers Club. You know, trying to be a modern luxury brand. For me, modern luxury means having something with an iconic status, but putting some sort of irreverent or cheeky twist on it. And this is exactly again what we're trying to do with Yozakura. Our global brand team gave us the freedom to have a lot of fun with this launch. We had a sneaker collab, we had some artist collabs with it. And it just again shows, you know, the Maverick spirit of this brand, how we inspire people through what we're trying to do. 
since the start of Glenfiddich, right, we were the first to ride a kind of create a single world category and we always push the boundaries. I think the Maverick Spirit has always been part of what Glenfiddich has done. Uh, if you look at previous releases, how we've finished whiskey in cognac cars, we finished whiskey in chateau cars, you know, we've really kind of pushed the boundaries of what whiskey is in order to give our consumers something different. So I think with this release, it really is that Maverick Spirit is combining different cultures. And it's bringing together Japanese and Scottish cultures and really creating something truly unique. It's the first time it's ever been done that a whiskey's been finished in our Mori cost. So yeah, we try and keep on pushing the boundaries, keep people guessing, but also bring something new to the table. Having walked the path that water takes to become rare whiskey, brand ambassador Maps Maponyane has become a champion for this precious resource. Previously, I was really fortunate to have gone to Iceland, and that was last year, where I went on our first water adventure, where I kind of trekked to the furthest corner of Iceland to a glacier called uh, Vortnayakol, where they had what is considered the purest water untouched by man. And that was an absolutely exhilarating experience. My trip to Scotland was one that I will never forget. It was an experience of a lifetime where I got to immerse myself in wonderfully beautiful Scottish culture, but beyond that, being able to see the process of what goes into creating these wonderful whiskies that we all love so much. But the most important aspect, which was being highlighted, which of course, without great quality water, you can't make a great quality whiskey. Of great interest at the auction were the Grande Yozakura custom sneakers by designer Jean Laurent, a tribute to Japan's Cherry Blossom Festival. What makes this year's auction special is firstly, it is part of the celebration of the launch of the Glenfiddich Grand Yozakura, but more than anything else, the importance tonight is how the auction is raising money towards Water for Life, a continued initiative that is looking at the issue of water scarcity in South Africa. And that is something that is creating sustainable water projects across the country to ensure water security in underserved communities. As a sneakerhead myself, it was so exciting to be part of the auction because I actually have the pair that they are auctioning off. It's extremely valuable and extremely rare. I also have the 29-year-old bottle of Glenfiddich, the Grand Yozakura. So to be part of the campaign and see people be able to access the pair of sneakers and the bottle, so dope. Yes, I have been in an auction before and uh, this one with the Glenfiddich family was very, very, very nice and uh, for a good cause and of course it's all about preserving our water and just knowing the importance of our water. What makes them special is that it's not just a brand that focuses on their bottom line and their profits but really about creating social change and it's amazing to be working with a brand that cares and cares beyond just themselves. If water is life, then Glenfiddich Grande Yozakura might be among the finest ways to enjoy and savour that life. Remember to enter for your chance at winning a thousand rand in this week's Capitech Live Better competition by simply logging on to the Insider SA website and answering that easy question. Another feel-good production.